Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. Today we are headed to a less known location. This is Pine Valley, Utah, 6,800 foot elevation in an amazing little town. Come along with us and take a look at the amazing pines and the cool breezes here in this beautiful, beautiful valley. And when you turn off I-18 North here to Pine Valley, you're going to find that little Saturday market that lives on the corner every time you come here on a Saturday. Be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more like this as it helps keep our channel strong. Pine Valley was established in 1859 and according to the census it only had 156 people here and the story about how this valley was found is pretty funny and also very amazing. We're standing out here in front of the Pine Valley Chapel that you can see back behind me, which is a beautiful chapel. I think we might be going in. We're going to take a look and see if we can. But look at the beautiful canopy of trees uh, that I'm standing under here. So Pine Valley is in southern Utah, but at the same time, it is a location that just has beautiful pine trees and beautiful mountains. And this is the Pine Valley Chapel. Now this was built in 1868. And you'll see by the construction inside that it is arched. It was built by a shipbuilder, and this is the way ships were built. So this is just turned upside down, and that's why the ceilings look this way. Now, that is a, a very, very interesting building. The old chandeliers and the arches inside and the acoustics were crazy. You could talk very quietly at the back of this, and you can hear yourself all the way at the front. Now, Pine Valley has no shortage of uh, old buildings and old barns, and this one stands next to a old pine tree that is <laughs> huge. So, for Utah, in southern Utah, to see these gigantic pines is pretty rare. And then look at the uh, look at the state of this old barn. And here in Pine Valley, there were seven lumber mills, so seven of them, and they lived on a creek that comes through the mountains up there. Don't know as much about the churches as some, but I do know there's a lot of them, and most of the lumber came from this area. As you can see, some of the lumber right there, and that old abandoned barn. As I was saying, there's no shortage of old homes that live here in Pine Valley. This is just a couple of the locations uh, that are here, and you can see how beautiful this valley is. And up there is a uh, Pine Valley campground and a national park uh, that lives at the end in this, in this valley. We're going to take a look up there and show you the beautiful creek that runs through there. And see if we can find some more of the old dwellings. Uh, this one, of course, is abandoned. A lot of them are brick homes uh, that live in the town proper uh, that, were, uh, that have been existing for quite some time that are restored and people living in. But the valley here is absolutely beautiful, especially with the old homes. Uh, that are sitting here in the valley floor. I kind of love these old fences, it kind of tells a history. This is the way they used to build them, to keep in cattle and show property lines. You can see this is, this is definitely dated the way it's falling down. But off in the distance here, I see an old water wheel in an old house here, and there's a land marker. I'm gonna take a closer look at that and share what this is with you, as I'm always intrigued by these things off on the side of the road. So in this area here, this building that we found alongside the road, uh, in this area was the first sawmill built. So in 1855, the valley was discovered by Isaac Riddle, uh, an Indian missionary, while searching for a lost cow. So a lost cow walked into this area, was searching with it by horseback, and came across this amazing valley uh, by sheer luck, I guess. I mean, it's a huge valley, but searching for a cow is how this valley was found. So back then, uh, this was the location, and that's what this represents is, you can see a sawmill, but you can see like the water wheel there, representing the sawmill that was built here, and they say this is one of the first, exactly on this site, in 1855 to 1856, uh, that's where this existed, and the lumber from here came to build most of the local homes in this valley. So we went to the top of the uh, trailhead at the Pine Valley uh, Park here. And we know that there's a sawmill foundation for one of the sawmills, one of the, one of the first ones here. And, and it lives on the creek that's over there to the right. So we're trying to find that foundation where that sawmill was and share that with you. So I think we're coming up on it here pretty quick. So 
So this, uh, in, the, in the woods here in Pine Valley, you'll see these rocks. They look like they kind of form like a, a rock river or a flow down the mountain. And what those are is they're called lacoliths. And what that was is the largest lacoliths in the world formed when thick, slow-flowing lava intruded upward between the layers of rock and it formed a blister-like mound. Over time, heavy rain and mud flow carried parts uh, of the mountaintop downhill and left the top of the lacolith exposed. So that's what these rocks are. People say, oh, these are giant boulders. They were formed from a lacolith. Okay, so just off the path, we have found the foundation where that cobblestone uh, bridge was and the foundation. And this was all part of the milling operation that was here in Pine Valley. So we're gonna walk down here where it's kind of green in these beautiful woods now. As woodsy and beautiful as it is, they have had a few rattlesnake sightings in this area. So it's green down here and cool, but I think what happens is the snakes are trying to get warm up on the trail, but they found more rattlers here than just about any place we've been uh, in, <laughs> in Southern Utah. Even on the hot trails and out in the desert where you think you'd find them, we tend to see them more in the wooded areas. And this is what's left. It's not uh, an, an amazing piece by any means, but it still exists where this bridge was to be able to travel and uh, go across for this sawmill. You can see it's old cobblestone build. And there is one of the pylons for it. Kind of a close up. And the beautiful creek going across. I cannot believe how relaxing and cool it is here by the creek. And you can hear it running in the background, just a beautiful sound. And then here is one of the other foundations. So these are pioneer foundations from back in the day when these sawmills were run by water flow on these creeks. And uh, this is what's left. So just a little piece of history left here in Pine Valley representing what existed right here in this location, in the middle of the woods. After a closer observation, you can see here in the middle of the creek that this is actually part of it as well. You can see the uh, cement and things holding that together, and another little piece of it there that was in the middle of the creek. So my guess is this is where the sawmill was, and they probably had one of the water wheels uh, that were generating the, uh, the energy from this creek flowing, and this is kind of a wider part of the creek. So even though you're in the, the woods here in Pine Valley, you look at the uh, surrounding area with the rock and so forth, and you can tell you're in the desert, as you can see, there's still prickly pear cactus all around the rocks. Uh, everywhere there's a lot of sunshine, you'll see those cactus growing up. Not, oops, excuse me, not much in the shade, but uh, definitely cactus uh, still all around. We were mountain biking up here on a trail in the middle of the woods and uh, I actually uh, tipped my bike and uh, missed a step on some rock and slid my bike over and just missed falling into a bed of cactus uh, by inches. Uh, and it, uh, my bike got hung up on the rocks and I went flying off of it and I landed right next to a bed of cactus like that. Pretty scary, but didn't get it. Okay, so it was in this area uh, that the white elephant sawmill stood. And this sawmill uh, was called that because it was the first steam operated sawmill in southern Utah. It was constructed in 1877. It had a then unheard of uh, force of 40 horsepower. Uh, John A. Gardner and Josh Benjamin Burgess built and operated the mill for many years here in Dixie National Forest, which is in the uh, Pine Valley Recreational Area. Pine Valley is, of course, surrounded by the Pine Valley Mountains. And they are a mountain range that's in Washington County, Utah. Uh, now, spanning the country north of St. George, the highest point of this range is 10,365 feet. And there's snow most of the winter on here, even when St. George is relatively warm in the winter. Uh, these mountains are part of Dixie National Forest, 
And of course, this valley lives at the base of those mountains and it's kind of hidden. As you can see here are some pioneer homes that are just off the sides of the road as you head up to uh, Pine Valley Park. And these homes have been restored as a lot of Utah homes are built out of red brick. Uh, you can see their beauty nestled in the trees right around here in the valley. Now the Santa Clara River and Great Irrigation is why this valley is so green and a lot of farming happened here with a lot of cattle as well. Hello, Mr. Cow. Happiest cow in the most beautiful valley ever. Hello. Oh, that one's got horns. You mess with the bull, you get the horns. So we show a lot of ghost towns and dry desert areas. Well, we probably don't show enough of this. And this is that beautiful valley going back away from Pine Valley towards St. George. And this valley is amazing. Look at how beautiful it is. All the mountains. So there is a lot of greenery here and there is a lot of flow. So where we were at, that creek that we were looking at said Virgin River. And I think all of that's contributors to the Virgin River that runs through this valley and keeps it green because the Virgin River runs through St. George uh, by Laverkin and so forth and it runs down into uh, Arizona, through the corner of Arizona and then down through Nevada. But this valley is absolutely breathtaking. The views that are here, Rocky Mountain Bluffs and a lot of pine trees and greenery. Kind of rare in Southern Utah, but it is here. That's gonna do it for today. And until our next adventure, goodbye from Weekend Escapades in Pine Valley, Utah.